The next three days are expected to mark the beginning of the gradual ascent to the peak tourism season, which climaxes in July with a breathtaking wildebeest migration into the Maasai Mara Game Reserve. All this amid a marked downturn in foreign tourist arrivals. The foreign market is still really quite, quite low and most of the hotels are doing less than 5% on the foreign market. If you compare last year, the arrivals for um, uh, the, the Jomo Kenyatta went down by about 22%. More international airport here in Mombasa, it went down by about 52%. Over the last one year, a number of key tourist source markets led by the UK issued travel advisories on Kenya, citing security concerns. But the UK maintains that the travel cautions it gives to its citizens are not entirely against travelling to Kenya. I get a little frustrated when I see uh, you good friends in the media saying uh, that we are facing difficulty in Kenya because of the travel advice. No, we are facing difficulty because of the threat of terrorism. The UK envoy further says that Kenya is not the only country that it has has had to issue travel warnings on. We issued travel advice against America after the Baltimore riots, uh, against Paris after the uh, terrible Charlie Hebdo attacks. So uh, this is nothing that is specific or unique to Kenya. But hoteliers at the coast hope that domestic tourists will help boost the hotel occupancy levels, especially over the long Madaraka Day weekend. Meanwhile, the Narok County government plans to boost security in the Mara ahead of the great wildebeest migration. In the process of uh, recruiting approximately 120 rangers uh, to add in the fleet of the people we have already in the Mara, uh, just to, be, to, to make sure that uh, this place is properly protected. We we'll have also drones at the, so that to ensure that our porous borders are also well managed. In addition to improving security in the country, the tourism ministry recently hired a UK firm, Grayling PR, to help rebuild Kenya's image at the global level as a tourist destination. Belagenga Citizen Weekend.